So where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. I am here because I've had severe pain, uh, facial pain and jaw pain, uh, a lot of discomfort over the past five months and yep. clicking for probably about six or seven years. Where's the pain manifest? Where do you have it? Um, it's, you know, basically my whole left side of my face, yeah. um, my temple, uh, also my gums and my teeth uh, feel like sore and tired all the time and uh, sometimes are painful. I also feel it right here by my ear and also sometimes feel sharp pains up into the cartilage of my ear. Yeah. And then also sometimes, um, specifically after I'm chewing on something, I'll feel like a little pain shoot down my neck right, right. here. So. Okay. I was wearing a night guard, uh, taking a leave and uh, putting ice on my face and usually that would do the trick and uh, resolves it pretty easily uh, and it just wasn't going away so I went to see an ENT mm -hmm. uh, I saw my primary care physician they wanted to put me on antibiotics but uh, the ENT you know looked into my ear on the left side there was a lot of wax buildup but no sign of infection um, you know and he, he said you know you have a issue with your jaw you know this is not you know really an ENT issue Right. So uh, I also went to a rheumatologist because I've been having other issues with uh, aches and pains. Um, she said that it could be that I have uh, joint hypermobility syndrome, uh, but she didn't really think anything was, uh, you know, out of the ordinary. So I went from there um, to a neuromuscular dentist. Yeah. And uh, he did some screening. He didn't do any x-rays or imaging. And uh, he also is a sleep apnea specialist, uh, and he uh, treats it with an appliance, a, a night appliance. Uh, so he screened me for that and also sent me for a sleep test, which I actually had to do several times, and there was weeks and weeks between uh, me having to wait in pain. Um, and it, basically he wanted to see if I had sleep apnea, and he felt that that would make a better case for medical necessity for what he wanted to do for the sleep apnea and also my TMJ issue. So I had basically had to wait like months on end for that to even come to fruition. While I'm in pain, no treatment, no medication, nothing. Yeah. So, uh, and he said that, you know, if we go forward with the treatment altogether, it's gonna be seven to $10,000. Okay, and what was the treatment going to consist of? It was gonna be a daytime appliance or orthotic that I would have to wear uh, 24 seven um, for four to six months that eventually you know my bite is you know going to be changed completely and that there's going to be a point of no return where uh you know i would have to decide you know am i going to go with uh you know getting braces invisalign veneers on all my teeth you know restorations or whatever to fix the problem completely and permanently um and you know if i didn't decide to go that route then if i were to not wear it, the appliances anymore my bite was going to try to resort back to the old bite, which was going to be painful, uh, which I actually kind of experienced that to a small degree when I take my night guard in and out. Yeah. When I'm wearing my night guard for 10 hours at night and then I take it out, my bite slowly during the morning hours starts resorting back to the old one and it is painful. The whole treatment plan just didn't sit well with me. Um, you know, if it was the only option, yeah. then I probably would have had to because I've been in so much pain. But um, I just, I, I wasn't sure on it and I wasn't really keen on how things were going with uh, communications between him and my, uh, his office and, and me with the whole sleep test, the treatment plan, um, no imaging. I couldn't see the anatomy. Uh, so I eventually went to an oral surgeon to see if I could get a look at, you know, what's actually going on. He took basically a five minute look at it and said that, you know, my jaw looked great that there was no signs of arthritis, uh, that, you know, I would have to get an orthotic or an appliance. So nobody ever bothered, you know, MRI, nothing like that? No. They never did a serious exam in the mouth? They never... No. A neuromuscular dentist, what did he say it would cost you later to do all this, to change the bite, to put veneers on? Did he give you that treatment plan? He didn't, no. Yeah. He called it phase two. Phase two is a lot of money. And he said it would be a lot of money, but I didn't, he didn't give me any idea. I guess because there's so many different options. 28 times $1,500 is approximate. So. 
feel yeah. like really, you know, the best thing that I can possibly do for myself. It's too important. Yeah, so you don't trust them? No. Point to where it hurts. One more time. But primarily there, in front of the ear, not in the ear. No. That's good news. Yeah, in the ear, I'd worry cervical. In front of the ear, it's usually TM. You it's know, right here. We're talking joint or muscle. You know, if it's muscle and your joint is relatively stable, we know it's damaged because we imaged yesterday, um, especially your left side. And there's a slight bit of arthritic change. You saw that with me. Right. And it's on top of your little bone there, your condylar head. But you had really well-developed bones. So we know that you didn't have a problem when you were a kid. A lot of people walk in, they'll have, they never grew to uh, full size because mm -hmm. there was damage to the joint, uh, like from trauma, like from a fall or, you know, someone cut out their tonsils and when they cranked open the jaw too much, they ripped the, mm -hmm. you know, the cartilage really bad. Um, <clears throat> but your left side, for whatever reason, you had damage after you stopped growing because that's the only way you wouldn't have space between skull bone and jaw bone. That's the only way the cartilage would be pulled forwards. And it's unilateral. Your right side is halfway normal. Your left mm -hmm. is not at all. Both both halves of the cartilage are torn, mm -hmm. the medial and the lateral. So you know that's the part that makes it sketchy. If your right side, if they were both like your right side, if only the lateral pole was torn, this would be very predictable. If I were you, you know, there's a couple of surgeons that I trust, only a couple. Mm -hmm. um, I get imaged. You know, I do. You decide to do this, and that's fine. We'll do this. But I want you to go get the MRI properly done. Mm -hmm. And these two surgeons know how to do that and see what they say. Even if things feel great, mm -hmm. I want you to do that because just because the pain is gone doesn't mean that the structure is fixed, right? Right, yeah. Because, you know, you may have a relapse of a couple months and all of a sudden it just comes on, bam. It's not that we made it worse. You know, we're trying to make the muscle relax, but the muscle's not always the cause. Right. There can be many layers to your pain mm -hmm. and muscle's almost always there. But what if there's, you know, joint on top of that or cartilage there's some some pain coming from the, the tendon behind the cartilage let's say uh, you could have fibromyalgia going on you could have something called crips complex regional pain syndrome mm -hmm. you know I don't think so though. can you chew gum I can do it it doesn't feel good <laughs> to do it so um, and obviously since this has been really bad I, I, I don't anymore are your teeth cold sensitive a little bit so uh, zero to ten, give me a number. Well, it changes like every every day. It's Switch different. Ice water. Tell me if you can for five seconds. Zero to ten. About an eight or nine. So it's definitely more sensitive than you thought it was. Mm -hmm. So subjectively, you think ah, about a five, but object more objectively, you think with that ice water, an eight or nine. Also, I just, because of the discomfort, I always feel like I need to wiggle my mouth around, like, yeah, all tell, day. Tell us about that. <laughs> I, I remember. It. I constantly want to move my jaw around. Um, I'm constantly trying to get it in place. I feel like I'm trying to get it in place. Yeah. Um, sometimes it does lock up. So and it will lock up in an uncomfortable position. Right. So when it does that, I'm trying to wiggle it around. So I think because of uh, and so the Motrin actually doesn't help with that situation. So it'll take away some of the inflammation and the pain, mm -hmm. but I'm still stuck with discomfort and a mild pain in my face that doesn't ever go away. Rake and open. Beautiful, hard, rake and open. Okay, see, you're trying to go right, you bang on the left, which makes sense if you've lost the thickness of that left joint. Remember I talked about cartilage yesterday, having right. a certain thickness? Yeah. Like I told you yesterday, I'm gonna keep this really minimal. I always do, okay? So like, it doesn't work. What have I lost? Some money, some time, you know? But we tried it and we knocked out muscle because this works. If it's just muscle, this works. Like, are you stiff? Try to, try to do it. That hurts? Yeah. Bite on heart, left, open. So when the muscle isn't overworked anymore, he stops screaming pain. Mm -hmm. It's biochemical, there's reasons why, but you know, it's like, makes sense, right? Yep. And look how little we're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, these burrs are polishing diamonds. They don't take much of anything. And we were, you know, and the first thing we did was add, 
replaced your, uh, refurbished your machine part, remember I was talking yesterday? Mm -hmm. I feel um, more relaxed, like my uh, shoulders feel relaxed. Like yeah. I feel like I can rest my shoulders more. Yeah. Like I they've kind of just kind of slowly went down a little bit. They weren't, they're not as tense. Yeah, how about your, uh, your neck, move it left and right. Remember you were all stiff. A little bit better, ago. yeah. A little looser. Very good. When I saw the picture of my joint in my skull hitting yesterday and nothing being there, I yeah. mean, I know that I have a problem oh, that missing? I'm going to have to deal with well, no matter what. So. I, I don't know that, though. I see. I think it's good to document it. Um, it's got to get checked out. It needs to get checked out. Yeah. I'm going to defer to them whether they think it needs to happen or not. Okay. It's, you know, because it'll be a month or two at least before you can see them and you'll right. say, hey, guys, look, it's, what's the practical? My bone doesn't really show much arthritic change yet, just a little spot. Can we watch it, or is it, do I have to go in there now? To the right and open. What do you feel like right now? I feel good. I feel right. relaxed. Um, Compared to when you walked in an hour ago, what's it like? I don't feel as much pain on that side. You have some still? I have some still. Um, better than it was? Better than it was, yeah. OK, we've still got ice in here. Give me a swish, five seconds. Zero to 10. Six on the bottom, but yeah. nothing on top. Nothing on top. Nothing on, nothing really back here. Just again, just right here. Just in the but front. But it's about six. Yeah. But it's profoundly different. Yeah. Like huge. Yeah, I didn't feel like I needed to like wince or like flinch too much. So you could probably take in a, a, a milkshake without a straw, you think? Mm -hmm. So it's more normal. Yeah, definitely. When you were young, when you were a teenager, do you remember drinking cold stuff without a straw? Mm hmm No problem, right? Didn't even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this about what it feels like back if it used to feel like back then? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yep. it's gone more or less to normal, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, okay. definitely. So the number doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that it's changed profoundly. Mm hmm See, the dad is telling me I'm about done. That's telling me I'm about done. So guess what? I'm about done. I feel like there's more space. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like there's more space. Like, I don't feel like it's tight mm -hmm. over here anymore. Because the muscle, theoretically, we can't put an electrode on it, but that muscle that moves the, the jaw open and stuff, it's called lateral pterygoid, it's theoretically shutting down. We can't prove that, but lots of experience tells me that. What yeah. you're describing sounds like that. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Move your jaw left and right. Is that easy? A lot easier. I still hear like a... Grating. A little bit of a grating sound, but mm -hmm. it's not as bad. Mm -hmm. well, that's normal. Remember, you're damaged there. Yeah. The cartilage is torn out, so I can't change that. Right. This doesn't change that. That's done. Mm -hmm. But getting the muscles to chill and adapt to where that is now is what we've just done. Yeah, it feels try, a lot better. Try moving your neck around. No problem. Is it different? Yeah. Try scrunching down. Feels a lot better. How's your shoulder? Remember shoulders you said... feel fine. They feel relaxed better than when I came in. Like for real? Yeah. What do you feel like in general compared to when you walked in? Um, I feel I feel good. I feel relaxed. I don't feel as much uh, tension in my face. Yeah. And uh, in my neck and my shoulders, and I feel definitely less pain in my jaw area and my cheek area where there was pain. Like right here, I would touch it and it would be tender to the touch. Like right now? now, it's not. Do your temples feel any different? It's Specifically? My temples, I, I don't feel anything. Did you feel something walking in and yesterday and last month? Yeah, definitely. Like all the time, right? Definitely. And when we did, um, I guess, the bite, the T-scan, yes. uh, before you started everything, just moving my jaw that way to the left. made my temple hurt. 
the damage immediately, signs. but that doesn't hurt at all. Totally clear. So now move left and right, it's no big deal. No big deal. I mean, I'm getting a little crunching yeah. um, from the jaw, but we know that that's from, you know, the, that's that's the, damage the structure. That's the damage thing. That structure, right. So right, but it's easy to move it back and forth. Yeah, it feels a lot more comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. You glad you had it done? Yes, definitely. All right, we, we still need to get out, uh, get imaged mm -hmm. and looked at, evaluated on the backside, mm -hmm. the joint stuff. Right. I mean, seriously, that's important. Mm -hmm. I told you this would help. Yeah, it, it definitely, it definitely feels a lot better.